Back to this guy. Sir Alistair, Desmond was just telling me of your adventures. Congratulations on your victory. Would that I didn't have to fight, but at least we have the book. Get the book out. We must start our research without delay. I don't understand. What could John Aaron have possibly found in this book? Indeed. I also cannot see what secret this book could hold. Wait. Go back. What did you see? Maybe I'm mistaken, but the bastard that I hunted down with Valar, he had dark hair and blue eyes. All births from the marriages between Baratheons and Lannisters have this in common. Raven hair prevails over gold. Of course. Now I know what John Aaron discovered. Children. What are you talking about? We have been researching the bastard line, when we should be looking at the legitimate children. Cersei is a Lannister, and Robert is a Baratheon. Their children should have dark hair and blue eyes, as is written in the book. It has always been so. And yet, they are blonde. The royal children are illegitimate. This is what John Aaron discovered. By the Seven! But then, the bastards that the damned Queen is hunting down... They are the only true descendants of King Robert Baratheon. That's why the Queen wants them dead. Relore's light. The Queen even involved me in this treachery. She didn't hesitate to execute the bastard children of that fool Robert. To keep his adultery a secret, everything she does, she does so to serve herself. Her people might well die, and on her orders too if she deemed it necessary. And Valar being her little pet only makes matters worse. This news makes the race to control Riverspring even more dire. The future of my people is at stake, and the only reason Valar desires the lands are power and vengeance. No doubt Cersei finds watching her cat spore groom himself in her image an amusing distraction. It's time we did something. If not, your lands, and perhaps the realm, may never recover from this. Indeed. Changes will have to come. I cannot allow Riverspring to flounder on such grounds. It seems that we are in agreement. Listen, Sir Alistair, I think it's time I confided in you. As you know, my friend, the Usurper, claimed the Iron Throne just after your departure, 15 years ago. From that moment on, he never gave a second thought to the people. The Queen took advantage of this and ended up assuming the real power through her numerous schemes. Your father and I quickly realized that no good could come of this monarchy. Nothing like this would ever have happened during the times of the Targaryen rule. Under their aegis, the kingdom was more prosperous, untroubled, and governed in a much fairer way than with Robert Baratheon and his damned Queen Lannister. Robert was a great warrior, but he's a poor regent. In comparison, the state of the kingdom was far better under Targaryen rule, and yet it is still the people who suffer the most. That is exactly what your father and I thought. And in time, we came to understand that we weren't the only ones disappointed in the Usurper. Many others were of the same opinion. Lords, as well as ordinary men. Gradually, we became a group and realized that by joining forces, we could perhaps bring about change. Our cause continued to spread. Our plans had time to evolve, and today, this group has become a true brotherhood, both powerful and ubiquitous. Sir Alistair, I wish for you to join the brotherhood. We share the same goals. Together, we will avenge the death of your brother. Together, we may be able to save River Spring by bringing back the Targaryen. Do you realize that if something goes wrong, we lose everything? We'll be tried and executed for treason. It's a risk that your father and I were willing to take. To us, this cause was more important than our own lives. And so, 
What is your plan? We'll start with what we've discovered today, and use it to destroy Valar, as well as the Queen's influence. Once the King learns of their conspiring, he will have them executed. This will be the first step in our overthrowing him. His actions will spark a revolt. If the revolt catches on, we'll take this opportunity to rally the people and the various lords of the Seven Kingdoms. While they kill each other, we'll be building strength. Very well. So let us send ravens throughout the kingdom to spread the news. Let us not be too hasty, my friend. The Queen has powerful allies. This attack needs to be decisive. If we show our hand too soon, the game will be lost forever. Besides, our goal is not to create anarchy. I still need time to arrange the succession to the throne. In the meantime, let us gather all the evidence we can find to ensure the widest support possible. What we have now is guilt-edged information, but it lacks the substance it needs to really drive the point home at the moment of revelation. Where else do you think we can find further evidence? Your father and I always believed that the best way to manipulate the situation was to sow discord among the royal couple. Today's discovery is the result of all our hard work. Your father compiled a list detailing all of Valar's abuses of power on behalf of the Queen. He believed that driving a wedge between her and the King was ripe for exploiting. Father always understood the true nature of Valar. Reynald sent me a letter revealing some important findings. He wished to speak to me in person, but he died before he got the chance. I think he wanted me to know about his findings, and that they are still somewhere in Riverspring. You'll recognize the documents I speak of by the Targaryen dragon inscribed along the bottom of each page. They will no doubt be encrypted. The Brotherhood uses its own language in case our documents fall into the wrong hands. That's good to know. I must leave the task of finding it up to you. Valar is after a woman who is of great importance to the Brotherhood. I've made the necessary arrangements regarding this matter, and I need to return to Castlewood in order to manage this operation. My stay at King's Landing lasted longer than expected. I know this woman. Her name is Jane Greystone. I was supposed to help Valar look for her and bring her back to the Queen. Dead. I see. Know then, that for our Brotherhood, this young girl is perhaps the only solution to the woes of this kingdom. We will speak of this again, once you find your father's documents. What about Valar? Don't concern yourself with him. One of my spies has infiltrated his gang. I am told his every move. Very well. We'll meet again at Castle Wood once I get hold of my father's findings. Good luck, my lord. I wish you luck too, my friend. And don't forget, those documents are of the utmost importance. What? Uh, return to River Spring. Okay. Wow, this, like I said, man, this probably been going on for two hours. I'm trying to beat this game, bro. Figure out. I know Great Jane had probably uh, banged the king at one point. I think she might even be Targaryen. No, 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 no. She can't be. If her name's Greystone, right? House Greystone. Yeah, uh, who knows. But, um... Hello, Lord Alistair. Hello, my lady. I don't think I've had the honor of meeting you. I am Lady Marianne, Lord Halton's niece. I didn't know Lord Halton had a niece. I've never had the pleasure of seeing you at his home. I did see you once, from my window. I would have come to greet you, but I was improperly attired. Oh. Could you do me the honor of accompanying me on my walk? Unfortunately, important business calls me away, and I can stay no longer. Please accept my apologies. A great pity, but I look forward to seeing you again. Probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have talked to her. That doesn't take me where I need to go. I just got sick of talking, man. I got stuff to do, man. People to kill. What? Uh, old Town Monger. Open. And open. Oh. This is a pottery place. How do I get out of here?
You know what? Can I just do this? Any secondary requests? Oh, there we go. River Spring. Oh. Oh. Words are wind. them gloating in the streets like that. It's like they've forgotten what respect means after all that rioting. No surprise though, really. I mean, when a dog bears its teeth, you give it a good kick so it knows not to do it again. If you allow the behavior, then it thinks... Aye. I don't know what that new lord thinks he's uh -oh. doing, but unless he changes his ways, this town will be naught but scavenging dogs soon. What's going on? What did that guy say? Key to or quest? What? I lost. Key. Is it? oh well, I don't really need it, do I? Uh My lord Sarwick. Greetings, Victor. What can I do for you? My lord, I cannot thank you enough for saving my life during the rioting. Don't thank me. Thank Relor. I am only an instrument of his divine plan. Well, your god seems to have helped the entire town. Did you know that people are returning to town and that trade is slowly resuming? Is that right? Only yesterday I ferried in a group of woodsmen and some weavers who'd left for Castlewood several moons ago. Castlewood, you say? Can you take me there? From here? It's downstream. Couldn't be easier. Just uh. Uh, if that's the case, I will probably need your help. Of course. You can find me in the port when you're ready to... Okie doke. Thank you, Victor the Ferryman. This is something else, bro. My endurance. Who am I supposed to be even meeting here? My sister. It is a joy to see you again. Do you have news of Garwin? Eliana, I warned you not to trust Valar. What do you mean? What does he have to do with Garwin? Our little brother is dead. Killed. On Valar's orders. Seven gods! It can't be! I saw Garwin's body, Eliana. But why would Valar kill him? I only see one explanation. River Spring. His lust for power was strong enough that he would kill the only man standing between him and the throne. But this is absurd. Garwin wasn't a threat. Father had personally disinherited him. Valar is not one to take any risks. No. Tell me it's not true. That man is a monster. What am I to do? I cannot marry that murderer. I... I, I could not endure it. I know, little sister. 
Your marriage must be stopped at all costs. But the Queen, she would never change her decision. She will force me to marry him. All is not lost. I haven't played all my cards yet. Please, Alistair, help me. You know our words, Eliana. Family is hope. Protect it, always. But in order for me to succeed, I need your help. Father hid some documents here that could help me in the fight against Valar. Do you know where he might have hidden the documents? I am sorry, Alistair, but Father was very secretive. He never confided anything to me. You need to speak with Maester Harwin. If anyone were to know, it would be he. I have no need for this. I have enough troubles as it is. Whatever, girl. Ah, well, another level. Let me grab this too. Okie doke. Um, I'm gonna level up and save it, man. This is some crazy stuff. And I ain't got time for it right now. Dexterity, two points. Bam. Alright, well, and do I get Relore powers? Ha ha! Ha ha! Cutting projectiles, that's what I need to go up. So I can be more effective. Alright. That should be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably save it here real quick. Oh, let me see. Confirm. All right. Anyway, want to thank you guys for watching this episode or session. Um, hopefully, we can get through this fairly quickly. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for our next Game of Thrones RPG episode.